So this is how you're going to download DS games on your modded 3DS for free, of course. So first things first, you're going to need something called Twilight Menu. So you're going to just go into FBI. To download this, you don't need a PC, but um, to download games onto your DS, I think you do need a PC, at least from what I've seen. Maybe not, we'll see. So Safari, I'm going to search up Twilight Menu. You can just find this in the link below. This is the right link. There you go. Going to go down there. Then you're going to go down to go into FBI at first. Then you're going to go down to remote install. Scan QR code. You're going to scan this code. There we go. You're going to need an internet connection on both devices, of course. There you go. Now that's downloading. No need for this one anymore. Gonna just let this download. I've actually never used it on the 3DS, so we'll see how it is. Alrighty, now you're going to go into this thing, Universal Updater. Then you're going to found, find it here. Let's see here. Yeah, first time opening, so it will do some stuff. So, Twilight Menu, I'm just going to press A on that, press there, and would you like to execute this entry? Confirm. Now it's downloading. Just gonna wait for this. I've actually never been in here. This is interesting. That's the Doom guy. Atari, 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 Atari. Is that game? Gear? No. G e G B A. Yeah, I know it's the Game Boy Advance, but I thought it said like Game Gear or something in there. That was interesting. Step one out of nine. So okay, this is gonna take a while. Let's just wait for this to finish and I'll be right back. All right, now it's going to ask you if you want to extract the ROMs folder. You're going to press yes to confirm. And then it's gonna work a little more. There we go, now that's done. I'm gonna just go out of here. New software is added. Let's open this. As you can see, already in the DS menu thingy, it's not full screened. There we go, GUI system. Here you can change, I think. This is like the language. Game, yeah, I'm just gonna do system, system, yeah. Press A, then I'm going to go down to, I mean, there's no difference between USA and Europe, so this I'm just gonna do USA. I'm gonna press on that, boom, DSI menu. There we go. GSI, everything. ROMs. Just gonna go down to my DSIware. Yeah, that's empty. I'm just gonna explore a little. GBA, yeah, that's gonna be empty too. Yeah, I think everything is empty here. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. And you're going to have to fill these up. Yes. So let me just press A, go out of that, and I'll just put the SD card into my PC. And then I'll show you what you need to do further. further. There we go. Now I have the SD card here. I have some ROMs here. So one thing I would do, I would just make a new folder and just call it games because I think that's easier and just browse around everywhere. So I'm just going to transfer over a game I already have a physical copy of new Super Mario Bros. I'm gonna let that load. It should just take a second. There we go. 
safely eject that. Boom. Take that out and plug the SD card back into the 3DS. All right, now just go back into Twilight menu on the DS. And then one thing that might be a little challenging, we'll see. I just need to find the games folder that I made. So I just made it in the root of the SD card. Not here. There it should be, there we go, games. Boom, there we have new Super Mario Bros. And let's see if it works. Creating some files. Oh, it shows 2024 now, that's interesting. I guess they update it like every year or something. And there we go. Boom, and it works as it should. You can update or you can save games and everything will work as it should. So yeah, that's how you do that. You can upload more games, of course. I just chose to upload one because I'm just gonna delete it later. This is a 3DS that I sell. I don't sell them with ROMs. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.